Hello friends, welcome to Programmer's Colloquy. In today's tutorial, I'll tell you how to write program for uh, printing pyramid pattern in Java. As you can see in this picture, the pyramid is nothing but a, uh, a star in the form, arranged in the form of rows and column. Uh, it's in the form of triangle here, but if you see carefully, these stars are arranged in the form of rows and columns. Like this is the first row, this is the second row, third, fourth and fifth. That means in this picture there are five rows. Now, uh, in first row you can see there are four spaces printed along with the star. One, two, three and four spaces are there before the printing of star. In second row there are three spaces printed. That means the space is decrementing from first row to second row. In third row, there are two spaces printed and in fourth row, there is only one blank space printed here. And if you see these stars, it is one star, then three star, then five star. That means these stars are incrementing by two numbers, right? Because one plus two is three, three plus two is five. This way, these stars are printing. Now, as I have told you, that these stars are printed in the form of rows and uh, columns if you see carefully. So whenever you want to write a program to print something in rows and columns, you have to use nested for loop. Nested for loop is nothing but for loop inside another for loop. The outer for loop will be for printing of the rows and the inner for loop will be for printing of the columns. But here we have to print the blank spaces also and the stars also. So what we can do is when we are taking outer for loop for moving inside the row, we can use two for loop. One for loop will be for printing of the space and another for loop will be for printing of stars. That means when we are using uh, the outer for loop for moving inside row, that outer for loop will contain two separate for loops, one for printing space and another for printing of the star. Now let us see how we can write coding in Java for this. Uh, but before we start, uh, friends, I request you to please subscribe my channel. Writing coding, I'll take a JFrame here by right clicking on this. And I'll take a JFrame. Let me name it as Pyramid. Okay. Now, in this JFrame, I'll just take a button here because I want to print the pyramid to be printed in the click of my button. So, I'll uh, write the text, edit the text here. I'll just right click here. Double click this button, you'll move to the coding area. So write coding here. Now as I told you, we have to take nested for loop, one for loop for the uh, rows and one for the column. So I will declare the variable first. I am taking i for the rows and I will take j for the column. Now friends as you have seen in that uh, picture that there are four spaces. So for, for printing that space also, I'll take a variable and uh, let me give it a name as s. s is equal to 4. Why? Because the initial value I want as 4 because I want 4 blank space to be printed. And uh, there, there is uh, in first row there is only one star printed. So I'll take one more variable as l and I will initialize that variable with 1. So these are the variables I have taken. Now let me start with the for loop. For and I have taken i for the rows. i is equal to 1. i should run till it is less than equal to 5 because you have seen there are 5 rows in that figure. And let me increment those the loop variable. This is the outer for which is for the row. Now the inner for, as I already told you, we have to take two for inside. So I will take j, j is equal to 1 and 
j should run till it is less than equal to s why because this for loop i am taking for printing the space so i am taking here less than equal to s because s i have used for the blank spaces and let me increment that j variable now system dot system dot out dot print is used to print something in java i am not using ln because i do not want the space to move in next line so i am not using print i am using uh, print ln i am using just print now i want to print the star as well so i will take the same variable j which is for the column j is equal to 1 again and j is less than equal to l now why l because l we are using for printing of the star j should run till it is less than equal to 1 and i have incremented this j here now i will print here system dot out dot print ln print not ln here also not ln why because i want the star to be printed in the rows uh, sorry in the columns so i am printing star here now coming out from the inner for loop now this area is for the outer for loop only now i want my outer for loop to move to the next line that means to the next row for this again i am using system dot out dot print ln this time why print ln because i want a blank space right now uh, sorry because i want my cursor to move to the next line now as you have seen that space is decrementing space variable i have taken s as space variable so i am using decrementing operator minus minus here because uh, in first row you have seen there are four spaces in second row the space is becoming 3 and then 2 and then 1 that is why i am using s minus minus and l l i have used for printing of star as you have seen in first row it is 1 star in second row it is becoming 3 that is incrementing by 2 So I'll write here l plus is equal to two, which means l is equal to l plus two. Now I will save this project and I will run this project. When I click on this button, you can see here the stars are printed in the form of pyramid. Friends, I want this to move uh, with the space. So what I'll do here is. Uh, i will use here system dot out dot print and i will print here slash t to get a tab space as you have seen this uh, this uh, pyramid has moved forward so this is how we write program for printing the pyramid i am sure friends you are able to understand this code i have tried to make it simpler uh, if you have any query you may write in the comment section section and uh, uh, i hope uh, the for loop has become easy for you and uh, you can write coding for any pyramid printing after watching this video those who have not subscribed please subscribe my channel to uh, see more videos like this thanks a lot